Good morning, everybody. It is time for a new pattern. It's early. It's only, it's not even eight o'clock. I am not much of a morning person, as you guys know, but I've got things to do today. I'm expecting a delivery of um, lumber for our patio. So I'd like to try to get some drawing done before Before they come. Okay, so the next pattern is this one. Dracon, Dracon, however you say it, I'm not sure. Looks like a simple one. We can do this. And this one apparently is uh, also in the Tangle It journal. So uh, go into the uh, ebooks. No, not the ebooks. This is a physical book. Um, this one would be available on Amazon if you want to support Ina. Anyways, uh, we're going to do some teardroppy shapes. Do, 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 do. And then between the teardroppy shapes, we're going to put this little arch on the top and the bottom. Like that. And that's it. Simple, right? Step number three is to put this little, just a little like highlighting dot there. A variation of it would be to, instead of doing this, to do another teardrop going the other way. But in any case, then you can embellish as you see fit. Here is the artwork. This is all done by... Uh, Simona Cordera and see it's been done in as the border here so let's let's do some art I'm gonna turn on my light watch your eyes everyone okay and get myself all settled here grab me a piece of paper you know what I think I'm gonna do one on one of these coffee dyed ones we're gonna we're gonna go bold here why not and I'm gonna use one of those PN pens maybe the dark brown and I'm gonna decide which direction I think I like this stain so I'm wondering if I shouldn't do this as sort of a big, almost a frame around this stain. I'm going to try that. All right, so let's do... Teardrop shape. And I'm going to do them pretty far apart, and then I'm going to go around and do another shape going the other way. So all of these are going to come with the pointy end kind of outward. that and then I'm going to come and do it the other way with the pointy end inward Then do the arch like that.
all the way around. And then I'm going to do it the other way. While I'm doing this, I should do another question. Question is, my first thought is, can we see a face to put with your hands? More than one person has asked that question. Um, I'm not comfortable with that, to be honest. Um, part of the reason for that it's just my my own personal um, shyness, anxiety. But another thing is is um, I'm not ready to put my face out there on on the internet for um, for sharing like that. Just um, I, I'm I want to keep that private. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, my face has been out there once and there's there's a couple of people who've probably seen it and and that's cool, whatever. But it's just not me and and there's a reason that I don't sit in front of the camera that way. Sorry. Um There's just sort of a privacy thing that that I feel really strongly about. Not only for myself, but for my family. Um, you know, there's a lot of nuts out there. You guys are... I'm, I'm trusting that most of you are not nuts. But there are some out there. Um, which is also why when I send out... Uh, the giveaways. I don't use my home address. I use a uh, a place of business, a mailbox place um, for my address because, you know, it's just safer. If I get to where I'm sharing my 29 faces with you guys, um, which I've been thinking of doing when I'm done, um, I did do a self-portrait with my drawing that I'm willing to share because I don't think it looks overly like me. Oh, cool. There's a great big ginormous spider outside my window out there. Wow. It's got one of those perfectly designed spider webs and he's sitting in the middle of it. I'm going to take a picture of that. That's, that's, it's glistening in the sun. All right. So this, these all get a little dewdrop highlight. kind of need those stripes there. I 
Okay, so next question. Sorry about that. That one, that one's one of the few that I'm not going to actually answer for you. Uh, can you share more tips on the shading process? I do have a um, video about shading. Just go on my channel and and search for sh the word shading and you'll find the video I did about shading. I try to uh, give you tips and tricks about shading as I draw. It's the main thing is to just do it. Um, the other thing is to make sure that you're always blending because of the way your eye sees shading and shadows. If you don't blend, it do, your brain doesn't look at it as shading or shadow. It looks at, at it more like a hard line. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can think about a light source which is which direction is the light coming from on your page and then put the shadow opposite on your um, object from where the light is coming I'm just going to leave it like that, to be honest. I'm going to do a little, uh, a little shading. I can do a little shading on this. But um, for the most part, I think I'm done. D-R-A-K-O-N. Where do I have room for that? Okay. So if I want to shade this, for example, let's... Let's just assume that, you know, obviously these are here. They're kind of on top of, if this is not, ugh, brain fart. Okay, if this is hollow, if this and this is like a ring and this is empty in here, you wouldn't put a shadow here. But if you're choosing to have this object is like more of a solid and then these are like on top you can put a shadow here and then that will be on top of this see what I mean but if this is hollow then you might want to put a shadow like that and once you blend it, it looks more like this is is a hole, and maybe even um, maybe even only on one side, like it, like that. there. Now it looks more like this is a hole, especially if you did it this way, like that side and this side. Okay, now that one's a hole. This one's a solid because that's on top of that and it's casting a shadow onto it. So maybe I'll do every other one like that. Why not? And I don't know if I have an even number all the way around, so it may come out funky at one end, but let's do that. And then this. And then this. And then this.
Oh, look. Came out right. Wow. Okay. Then it was meant to be. Then I will just blend that. That's the important part. See how scratchy that is? Doesn't look like anything. As soon as you blend it, now it looks like a shadow or shading. And since this is a dark tile, I know I'm going to bring out the white pencil. And give those little bubbles, those little teardrops, some glistening white. That will make it look completely different. Okay, all the way around. Zoom out. Cool. And then my white. That's really white. That's cool. I like that. I think I'm going to put a little bit of highlight here also, which helps to make this every other one a little more solid looking. Just a little. Like that. Alright, that'll work. That was a that's a really good simple ribbon tangle that you can do. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. Alright, you guys have a great day. Um, look up my shading video. If I remember, I'll put a link, but I'm pretty sure I won't remember because I'm just letting you know. It's highly likely that I won't remember. Um, yeah, by the time I do all my drawings and then I get them uploaded at the end of the week, by the time, yeah, by the time the end of the week comes, usually I forget what I'm talking about during it. But anyway, yeah, just look up shading on my channel and you'll find my video that I talk about shading. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a great day and um, see if I can get one more drawing done before the guys come to deliver my wood. See ya. Bye-bye.